everybody, this is Dream, and today we have a six-game NBA slate for you. It is a pretty interesting slate. We have a lot of uh, injuries today, so let's go and get started with that. We're going to start with Chicago. Caruso is questionable uh, in that one. Then for the Philadelphia 76ers, we have P.J. Tucker is questionable. They could potentially open some Paul Red uh, opportunity for the Pacers. Mathurian is questionable. Duarte is questionable. Halliburton is out. And Jackson is questionable uh, for the Hornets. Uh, we have LaMelo Ball out and uh, Mark Williams out continuing. Uh, so that kid continues to keep uh, Nick Richards in the starting lineup. Uh, for the uh, Minnesota Timberwolves, we have Gobert questionable and Reed questionable, as well as Edwards questionable and Towns is still out. Obviously, if uh, Edwards gets ruled out, then that will definitely change how we go here. Um, for the Knicks, uh, we don't have uh, any... Major injuries uh, there. For the Warriors, uh, we have Looney is questionable. Wiggins is out. Uh, then for the Rockets, we have Jalen Green and S Singen, both questionable. And Tate and Ty Ty Washington are out. Uh, then we'll look at Dallas here. Kaya Irving and Tim Hardaway Jr. are both questionable. Luka is still out. Uh, looks like uh, everybody else is good to go there. For the Grizzlies, uh, Jalen, or sorry, Jaron Jackson is questionable. Morant and Adams and Clark are all still out. Uh, for the Kings, uh, Huter is questionable and Lyles is questionable. Uh, but otherwise, everybody else is good there. And for the Utah Jazz, we have Laurie Markinen and Clarkson and Sexton all out, which definitely gives some upside to Chris Dunn and a couple others. Uh, as for our top picks today, um, it does seem like it's not an ideal slate from this perspective. Uh, but we do have some good players uh, to choose from today. We'll start with Tareem Prince uh, for the Minnesota Timberwolves. Um, he's played pretty well uh, in his minutes, but he's been a little bit inconsistent lately. But he does have some upside if he starts again, uh, though it is streaky, so it is a little bit dangerous. Uh, but then we're going to look at uh, Oche uh, Agbaji. Sorry for butchering your name. Uh, for the Utah, he's been playing really well as a starter. As long as he continues to start with these guys out, he should be a really good option on the slate. Uh, Chris Dunn also looks really good today for Utah. He is a little bit pricey, but he does have some upside with all the injuries there. And he's had some really good games lately, so he definitely uh, has some upside. Uh, then we're going to look at Kelly Olenek, uh, who's also uh, in a good spot here, though he is priced up some, which is a little bit of a concern. But he's actually a little bit lower than he had been. Uh, but as long as he continues to play the minutes he's playing, then he's definitely somebody to consider. Um, I also think Dennis Smith Jr. looks like a good play today uh, for Charlotte. He's got a nice matchup against Indianapolis, who are both both these teams are pretty quick playing teams. And his price, while it has popped up a little bit, he's got his floor is pretty much where it is for the amount of minutes he's getting right now. And so I really do like him here. Uh, P.J. Washington also looks really good for Charlotte. Uh, he's playing really well. Uh, with injuries uh, on Charlotte. So as long as he obviously has some streakiness, but his price is actually pretty good. And so as long as his price stays below six grand, he's definitely somebody I like. Uh, then we're going to look at Desmond Bain, who, uh, you know, with Morant and stuff out, he's had to take more of the offense, and he's been playing pretty well. His price has come back down from where it was because he had a couple of floor games, but he's got a good matchup today with a lot of guys out for, for Dallas, and it looks like that... Uh, some of those guys, you know, we might have some more guys end up being ruled out there uh, in that situation. I'm also going to take a look at Nick Richards today. I think it's a pretty decent, solid option at center. Despite the minutes inconsistencies, he has good upside in this matchup as long as he continues to play minutes and and uh, Williams is out, he should be good to go. Uh, Mitchell Robinson also looks really good today for the Knicks. He's played pretty well since he's been back from injury. He's had a couple off games, but for the most part, he's played uh, really good, and so I really like him. Um, and then I've got two more guys. We're going to look at Terry Rozier, who has played really well with uh, the injuries there. His floor was what he hit last game, but he's had some tough games and still getting good fantasy perspectives. So uh, with as long as his price stays around this price range, he's somebody to consider. And then finally, uh, Julius Randle. Uh, he seems like he's underpriced today. Uh, he's been inconsistent lately, which is a concern. But uh, he has good upside. And if he can start getting double-doubles again, uh, then uh, he will definitely have good utility here. Because early in the season and midway through the season, he's been getting double-doubles all the time. He's haven't been getting that quite as much. But 
Uh, I do expect him to get back on that, because, and his price has been reduced as a result. So I do think he's a very viable option on the slate. I'm also going to give an honorable mention to De'Aaron Fox because his price has come down a lot too. And so he is definitely a consideration on the slate, but he has been kind of gimpy. And so he is a little bit risky from that perspective. With that said, guys, thank you like liking, commenting, and subscribing. If you have any comments or questions, feel free to leave them below. And have a nice day, guys.